Then in later times, we have Immanuel Kant. There are two kinds of philosophies in the world. There's English philosophy, uh, where nobody really understood what Kant was saying, and there's uh, the philosophies that we find uh, just implicit, for example, in, uh, in the middle European uh, systems. Uh, <clears throat> what Kant recognized in his critique of pure reason was that all of our knowledge, all of our experience is conditioned by the organs of experience and the organs of knowledge. And a priori, <coughs> primary, antecedent to our experience of anything is our knowledge of time and space. And in that wonderful paper of his called The Foundations of Metaphysics, he asked this question, how is it that we can make determinations for relationships in space here and know that these will work in space there? He says it's because the laws of space are right in our own mind. Well, this struck me like dynamite. The flight to around the moon, but just before the one where Armstrong's foot came down on the moon. Ground control, Houston asked, who's navigating now? And the answer that came back, and I heard it with amazement, was Newton. Uh, now, the laws that would work in that space up there where nobody had ever been before were known so perfectly that it was possible to bring that little module back within a mile of a boat in the Pacific Ocean from around the moon. And no matter how far these space vehicles go out into space, we're, we've enveloped it, we know it. 